In the next few moments, we are going to pray using the five finger prayer. This prayer is an adaptation of the acts prayer, which you may be familiar with. The five finger prayer is one that we have used with our children in Sunday school and one that some of them are quite familiar with. We find that the five finger prayer helps us to remember that there are many things that we can say to God. Most of us have a tendency to fall into patterns of praying just some sorts of prayers to the Lord. But as we have learned in the past, there are an infinite number of ways and things that we can say to God. God, who is our loving Father, wants to have honest, intimate dialogue with you and me, his kids. So take a moment now to get comfortable, to settle yourselves in your seats, to feel your breath entering and leaving your body. And let us turn our minds towards the Lord. In the five finger prayer, the first prayer that we pray to the Lord is an I love you prayer. Take a moment now to express to the Lord a couple of the reasons why you love him. You might consider beginning by simply saying, Dear God, I love you because. As we move on in the five finger prayer, the next sort of prayer that we get to pray to God is an I'm sorry prayer. We are all human. We make mistakes. It's simply who we are. And God is our heavenly father, hopes that we will be honest with him when we make a mistake. And as our Heavenly Father is quick to forgive anything that we bring to him in prayer. You might consider starting this part of the prayer. Dear God, I am sorry because. Now we'll move on to our third finger. This is the thank you prayer. In this last year, there has been a lot that has gone on that has been hard, that has been overwhelming. And so it can be easy to lose sight of all of the good things that are still present in our day-to-day -day lives. And so it can be important in prayer that we intentionally focus our attention on gratitude. What do you have to be thankful for today? What gifts have you received today? However small, take a moment now to express your thanksgiving to God. You might begin this portion of your prayer by dear God, Thank you for.
And now we come to our last two fingers. These ones are connected. These last two fingers are our please for me and please for them prayers. Notice all of the other things that we have prayed, the ways that we have prayed to God before coming to the please for me and please for them. This is to remind us that God is not simply a vending machine, there to spit out whatever it is that we need. But he is a heavenly father that desires to give good gifts to his children. And so he wants us to come to him, honestly laying before him our desires and our needs. And so in these last couple of moments, take a moment to lift up to God your needs and your desires for yourself and for those around you. Please for me, please for them. And now let us end this time of prayer by praying together the prayer that Jesus gave us, a template for praying in the way that we have just prayed, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.